in your ward for supper. May, there is so much wrong with that name. Be useful. Have to keep going. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime! And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it! A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given a chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and boom. Problem solved. Ha! <laughs> I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. What's 
site for discussion. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent redcaps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> You smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. No, if someone blows up, blame the car with the Ginny. That's what I'd do. Welcome to the circus, a motley crew of misfits and morons. <laughs> We're happy to have you. I should arrest you all for gross negligence. You realize she is mining, putting on face paint. She has them to sell. beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. No more questions. Spin or don't. Let us see if you have luck's favor. You notice a glint in Akabi's beard. As it glows, the wheel moves away from the jackpot. He is cheating. Alas, no. Jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try anew. Grand prize, 
But fear not, grotesque one. Try again! Be victorious! Yes! You will win the jackpot this time! I am sure of it! Impossible! You thief! You cheated! Enjoy the jackpot! Muley Kurt! Tool will do the trick. Up for discussion. This city of stone and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love. Are you not? You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. It can't hurt, I suppose, unless you embarrass me. Then you might find yourself hurting in a whole manner of ways. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. Your bond is sweeter than nature's dew. I see you. Know you. But do you know one another? Shadowheart. An endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen. Think. From where does Shadowheart draw comfort on a cold, dark night? Well put. Though I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference.
Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect? Very good. Just don't say it so loud. Our touch has been that of sunlight. But now we must ask the deep, the difficult. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. A perfect score. I'm flattered. Have you been studying up on me every night at camp? I press my finger to your bond and find a shield. Impenetrable. It is beautiful. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Go in peace, seedlings. And know that you made one whose heart was long quiet beat with love anew. Save yourself from heartbreak. No one stuck me yet. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought-after service. Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. Is she not magnificent? <laughs> To think she chose me. Why, I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Uh, uh, now, what can I do for you? My wife shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. Tremendous! Stony darling, let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. Oh, it's been an age since your last break, my darling. Fanatics for sale! What? Mostly bloodstain free! Good! You shall make this magnificent, my darling. I know it. Time for discretion. Is that... Yes. Flesh. Human flesh, no less. At least things have stayed interesting. Seems like a good moment to Another. talk. Good. My time comes. I will show you. All of you. Look. 
see. They grow. They laugh. They shine with innocence. But it is a lie. Every one of you is vicious. Cruel. You kill my mate. Steal my cubs. I roar. Break my cage. And then you die. You all die! is sturdy the lock is old it could be jammed shut so not even a key could open it the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is pausable. Way! Can we not find a more pleasant amusement? Gouging out our own eyeballs, perhaps? Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Aww. Oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart. Of a lion! Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Sklar, you can't be serious. My heart! The enthusiasm is too much! Now, up, up! Double sharp! Or poor Buddy will think you don't like him! Right there! Oh, perfect! <laughs> and here I thought Ceramorphosis was the ultimate torment. I have a message just for you! Praise the Absolute. Thank you. 
You... You freed me from hunger's lust. Forgive me. I was close to killing you. Killing everyone. I am ashamed. You can, but I will not cross the threshold. The circus is my family. They rescued me when I was but a youngling. They did not starve me. The other did. He wore the face of dribbles, of a saint, of a stranger. He taunted me, waving bloodied rags under my nose. My mind was worn from the hunger. Thank you for calming me before I hurt my family. The corpse regards you lifelessly. I killed him. Bathed in his blood. A death worthy of the list. Of the tribunal. The greatest honor of them all. To sow chaos. It is his will. You feel a rush of power, dark and insidious. Something prevents the corpse from answering. I saw in your eyes what I see in my own. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Oh dear. Screaming children, an oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. It's a pleasure, darling. Set foot in my circus to use such a woeful dribbles impersonator. Why, it's downright rude. When you run a plane hopping circus of ragtags and ruffians, few things phase you. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus, but I cannot leave just yet. Not without Dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Huh. I can respect that, and you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. That's the spirit, darling. And remember... I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much.